In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will study about electronic communication, in which we will learn about elements of a communication system, IEEE spectrum, different types of wired media such as twisted pair cables, coaxial cables, and optical fiber cables, and different types of wireless media such as radio wave, microwave, and satellite communication systems. We are very well aware about the word communication. It is the process of exchanging information. Communication between two human beings can be verbal, nonverbal, via body language or written words, etc. Nowadays, we use different modes of communication, such as mails, SMS, video calls, etc. Communication always takes place from a source to a destination and in between them there are various elements present. So let's see the elements of communication systems. Basic elements of any communication system are the transmitter, receiver and in between them is a communication channel. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. The detailed block diagram of a communication system has five basic blocks. The different stages of a communication system are input signal, input transducer, transmitter, communication channel or medium, noise, receiver, output transducer and the output. Let's see each block one by one. First is an input signal. The message to be transferred acts as an input to a communication system. This signal can be in any form, like a sound signal, picture, speech, data, video file, etc. Second block is an input transducer. Before transmitting the input signal, it is first converted into an equivalent electrical signal from its original form. The device which converts an input signal of any form into an electrical signal is called as an input transducer. Input transducers like microphones are very commonly used in communication systems. Third block is a transmitter. This block increases the power of the signal and transmits it via the communication media available. A transmitter is a combination of different circuits like an amplifier mixer, oscillator, etc. The next block is a communication channel. It is the medium used for the transmission of a signal from one place to another. Communication medium can be wires, optical fibers, cables, etc. Next stage is noise. Noise is an unwanted signal which gets added with the information signal. Due to noise, the quality of the signal degrades. Once added, noise cannot be separated from the information signal. Thus, noise is a big problem in the communication system. The fifth stage is the receiver. The operation of a receiver is exactly opposite to the transmitter. Receiver block contains different circuits such as an amplifier, demodulator, detector, mixer, etc. The next stage is an output transducer. The output transducer converts the received electrical signal to its original form, that is sound, picture, video, data, etc. The examples of output transducer are speakers, computer monitor, etc. The last stage is the output where we receive the signal in its original form. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Next, we learn about IEEE spectrum. The information signal is first converted into an electromagnetic signal or EM signal and then it is transmitted. These EM waves are also known as radio frequency waves. The frequency of this EM wave can vary from very low to a very high frequency. The entire range of frequencies of EM waves is called as electromagnetic spectrum or EM spectrum. These frequencies 
were decided by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, which is an association of engineers known as IEEE. The following table represents different frequency spectrums along with their applications. Let's see different transmission media now. Communication media is the medium over which information travels from the sender to the receiver. This media is mainly divided into two types, such as wired media and wireless media. Different types of wired media are twisted pair cables, coaxial cables and optical fiber cables, while different types of wireless media are radio wave, microwave and satellite communication. In wired media, the signal is guided within solid wires like coaxial cables, twisted pair cables, optical fibers, etc. We will start with the twisted pair cables. In this type of wired media, two wires are twisted around each other. We have two types of twisted pair cables such as unshielded twisted pair cable and shielded twisted pair cable. The only difference between these two types of cables is extra shield is provided in the shielded twisted pair cables. The applications of twisted pair cables are in telephone lines, in digital subscriber lines, DSL, local area networks, LAN. Now a question may arise in your mind that why do we need to twist the wires? Twisting reduces the effect of noise or any other external interference. Number of twists per unit length determines the quality of the cable. Hence, the more the number of twists means a better quality cable. Second type of wired media is a coaxial cable. It consists of two concentric conductors separated by a dielectric material. The external conductor is a metallic jacket used for shielding. The practical coaxial cable looks as shown. Such cables are frequently used to connect set-top boxes or TV sets. Applications of coaxial cables are cable TV, digital transmission, fast LANs, traditional LANs, analog telephone networks. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. The third type of wired media is an optical fiber cable. Optical fibers are used to guide light rays. Hence, while using optical fibers, the information signal is first converted into a light signal using LEDs or lasers. And that light signal is then transmitted through optical cables. Optical fibers have two main parts of a cable, such as a core and cladding. Every fiber consists of a glass core surrounded by a glass cladding of different refractive index. Core and cladding are covered with a protective coating. Let's study the propagation of light through the fiber. Light follows the principle of total internal reflection when it travels through an optical fiber core. When light travels from one medium having a higher refractive index to another medium having a lower refractive index, it gets reflected as well as refracted. As the angle of incidence, theta1, increases, angle of refraction, theta2, also increases. When the angle of incidence reaches to the value of critical angle theta1 equals theta c, the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees. Theta2 is equal to 90 degrees. With respect to the boundary of the two media and the ray of light travels parallel to the boundary, when incident light exceeds this critical angle, light no more gets refracted and the entire incident light gets reflected back into the same medium. This phenomenon is called as the total internal reflection. Total internal reflection can occur only if the following conditions are satisfied. Refractive index of the glass core must be greater than the refractive index of cladding. The angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle. 
Optical fibers find applications in almost all major fields such as medical, defense, telecommunications, networking, commercial, etc. Till now, we have learned about wired media of communication. Now we will see wireless media. The basic principle of wireless communication is a transmitter converts the information signal into an electromagnetic wave and transmits it using a transmitting antenna. At receiver, a receiving antenna receives these waves and again converts them into their original form to obtain the information signal. Wireless communication is basically divided into three different types such as radio wave transmission, microwave transmission, satellite communication. We will only see basics of satellite communication. Communication that takes place between the transmitter and the receiver via a satellite is called a satellite communication. A satellite receives a signal from one earth station, transmitting end, amplifies it, improves the signal quality and radiates it back to the earth, to the second earth station, receiving end. A signal transmitted to the satellite is called as uplink and a signal received from a satellite is called as downlink. Let's take a quick review of what we have learned. Communication is the process of exchanging information. It always takes place from a source to a destination. Different elements of a communication system are input signal, input transducer, transmitter, communication channel or medium, noise, receiver, output transducer and the output. We also learned about IEEE spectrum. The entire range of frequencies of EM waves is called as electromagnetic spectrum or EM spectrum. These frequencies were decided by the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, which is an association of engineers and hence known as IEEE. Next, we learned about communication media, which is divided into wired and a wireless media. Different types of wired media are twisted pair cables, coaxial cables and optical fiber cables while different types of wireless media are radio wave, microwave and satellite communication. In twisted pair cables two wires are twisted around each other. We have two types of twisted pair cables such as unshielded twisted pair and the shielded twisted pair. Coaxial cable consists of two concentric conductors separated by a dielectric material. The external conductor is a metallic jacket used for shielding. The practical coaxial cable looks as shown. Third type of wired media is an optical fiber cable. Every fiber consists of a glass core surrounded by a glass cladding of different refractive index. Core and cladding are covered with a protective coating. Light follows the principle of total internal reflection when it travels through an optical fiber core. Total internal reflection can occur only if the following conditions are satisfied. Refractive index of a glass core must be greater than the refractive index of cladding. The angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle. The basic principle of wireless communication is a transmitter converts the information signal into an electromagnetic wave and then transmits it. And a receiver converts these electromagnetic waves back into their original form to obtain the information signal. Radio wave, microwave and satellite communication are the three types of wireless media. A communication that takes place between a transmitter and a receiver via a satellite is called as a satellite communication. A signal transmitted to the satellite is called as uplink and a signal received from a satellite is called as a downlink.